Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus 4 divided by 4 minus x is equals to x and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here in the first method we need to move this 4 minus x to the right hand side and you see here it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by x. So after moving this into the right hand side it will be written as x minus 4 is equals to x times of 4 minus x and now here further in the next step we have this is x minus 4 is equals to here we need to multiply this x on both of these two values and it will be written as 4 times of x minus this is x times of x becomes x square so further in the next step uh, we need to move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as this is minus x square when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes plus x square and this is plus x minus 4 and this is plus 4x becomes minus 4x and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms so we have this is x square and this is x minus 4x becomes minus 3x and this is minus 4 is equals to 0 and further in the next step you see here uh, this equation will become quadratic equation in x variables which means that uh, there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square method and third one is uh, using the quadratic formula but here uh, you see that we can easily make the factors of this equation so uh, here for this we need to break the middle term uh, so we write here uh, this um, minus 3 as minus 4x and plus x and uh, this is our minus 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And further in the next step you see here uh, the first two terms involve x so that we will take common x from here and we get the remaining values r from here we get x minus from here we get 4 and when we take common uh, 1 on both of these values we will get here x minus 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now you see here both of these terms involve the factor x minus 4 and we get the remaining values are from here we get x plus from here we get 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 4 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 1 is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 4. This is the our first root of the given equation and from here uh, we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will become minus 1 and this is the second root of the given equation. So from first method we will get here there are two roots of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify that. Uh, is uh, both of these values are solution or extraneous roots so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is x minus 4 divided by 4 minus x is equals to x this is now our given question statement and in this side we will be verify x is equals to 4 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to minus 1 so here first we verify x is equals to plus 4 so when we put x is equals to plus 4 uh, into the left hand side or right hand side so uh, we see that it will becomes 4 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 4 is equals to 4 uh, so here we have 4 minus 4 becomes 0 and this 4 minus 4 is also becomes 0 is equals to 4. So here you very well know about that 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form. Uh, 
uh, so if uh, this is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined it means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal we conclude about x is equals to 4 is that x is equals to 4 is not the solution of given equation uh, so we just called that x is equals to 4 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root and further in the next step uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to verify the second value of x so when you put this value of x into the left hand side it will becomes minus 1 minus 4 divided by 4 minus minus 1 is equals to here we have this is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 4 becomes minus 5 divided by this is uh, 4 and minus times of minus becomes plus 1 so 4 plus 1 is also becomes 5 is equals to minus 1 so this 5 is cancelled out by this 5 and we will get here minus 1 is equals to minus 1 so this shows that both of the sides are equal and if both of the sides are equal this means that x is equals to minus 1 is satisfied our given question statement so finally we conclude that the solution set of the given question is x is equals to minus 1 so this is the final solution set which we get here from first method uh, and now here we again solve this problem for second method so for second method we need to copy down a uh, given question statement here so uh, in second method we need a first to copy down given question statement and it is x minus 4 divided by 4 minus x is equals to x and in this method we will just quickly uh, get the values of x uh, and now you see here uh, if we focus into the numerator term then we will take common uh, negative sign from numerator so when you take a negative sign from here it will become 4 minus x divided by 4 minus x is equals to x so you see here this 4 minus x is cancelled out by this 4 minus x and we will get here minus 1 is equals to x so this is the uh, final value of x which we get here from second method and you already see that uh, x is equals to minus 1 mm, is verified over given question statement which we can verify into the first method. So it means that um, in second method we get just only one root and in first method we see that this is satisfied over given question statement. So we finally conclude about that the solution set of this question is x is equals to minus 1. So this is the final conclusion of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.